Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type. I'm a, I'm a baddie. I'm a, I'm a baddie. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type. Hello guys and welcome back to Linda's Home and Style. I'm Linda and uh, before we continue and uh, I let you know what is up today, I just want to say thank you for the 2K subs. I don't take it for granted. And if, if you come across this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, I just have a quick unboxing of a kitchen gadget. It is a 23 uh, vegetable piece cutter. Nilichoka kata vitungu nikilia lia yeah so i'll be showing you how i'm gonna use it so the video includes a lot of uh, food prep also making dinner using the crock pot yeah beef stew and uh yeah and uh cleaning the dog grooming the dog she's called amor so guys just uh, tune in don't go away make sure you watch till the end and again if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and let's grow together guys so guys i have this uh small unboxing that i want to do and uh this is a multifunctional kitchen tools and uh yeah also i got it from arms Art. and uh today i'm ju just want to do a lot of uh prepping uh food prep eh? before i cook so that i show you what uh, this uh, machine can do i'm at this ka small kitchen gadget can do and yeah it has uh, lots of pieces that you can use uh, for food prep you don't need a knife and a grater because uh, so i just want to show you i think in potato pillar we are going to use it because i want to make a stew uh beef stew in the crock pot that we bought so and uh, i think these are blades they are different blades for each task that you want and uh, it comes like this so we are going to chop some onions here and uh, also chop some nyanyas and uh, and carrots and everything so guys let me just clean it up and set it up to on a, the way you are going to like uh, connect it all together i'm gonna put set it up all together and you to and elena food prepare to so guys after cleaning the vegetable cutter it was now time to put it to task and they started with the onions because i had told you guys in the na kukata onion so what i realized uh, it performed but what i realized is that you need to slice your onion in half for you to have uh, an easy time like uh, controlling it because you saw me using so much uh, pressure just to press it down yeah yeah you need i checked on youtube and i saw that you need to slice your onion in halves before now uh pressing it down so after that i went on to grating my garlic and uh, ginger and they started with ginger and yeah this thing is doing a nice job eh? but i also realized that the blades are very sharp very very sharp so you just need to take care of your fingers like uh, yeah it will chop your fingers and it will chop your nails away yeah yeah speaking from ex from experience so yeah here i'm just trying to grate some uh, ginger and uh, yeah i have a lot of learning to do when it comes to this machine but so far so good i loved it so much like so so much yeah i don't regret buying it So guys, another thing, you have seen me struggling a bit with the kutumia, that thing uh, you used to attach before now grating. Yeah, and I decided just to go in with my fingers or hand just to grate. I must admit, I just can't quit. 
so guys here yeah, i was trying to <laughs> slice the tomato and the kakata i think it was too ripe or something to be sliced but i noticed in a slice hoho -ho or a capsicum very well i was really impressed when i sliced my capsicum <laughs> So guys if you know linda you'll know she doesn't give up and yes i had to try slicing the tomatoes again and here i'm just chopping them down and uh, it worked but uh, it was a bit messy as you can see siju kwa nini like ayendani na tomato poa maybe it prefers uh, hard uh, vegetables but for me i don't give up and uh, i sliced the tomato or chopped the tomatoes with this uh, blade this is now a different blade and yeah, I got a nice puree of tomatoes just to fry my food with. <laughs> So guys, after finishing with the tomatoes, I changed the blade and it's so easy to change your blades, yeah? It's very easy. So I changed the bla blades <laughs> and I uh, started on the carrots, yeah? Just to grate my carrots because I was making a cabbage, uh, what do you call it? Cabbage salad on the side. So you'll just see, yeah? So guys, you've seen me struggle with the carrots, but yeah, this was the first time I was using this gadget and uh, it was now time to change the blade to a slicer now to slice my cabbage and I really liked the result. Yeah? It was so easy to slice this cabbage, it was just sliding down and again, <laughs> the blades are so sharp. So I need to slice the cabbage because you can attach and uh, pressing it down, I don't prefer using it. Yeah? So I sliced my cabbage. Then I also sliced some onion just to make the salad. So guys, after cutting myself, I decided to attach your thing and to press down when you're slicing or grating. And yeah, this is now my onions. And again, you can see how beautiful they are sliced. They are even and uh, they're just beautiful. So after this, I just uh, took them out and I uh, placed them in this bowl and mix them out, mix them before now frying them. Yeah, because for me, it's just like a steam. Is it called steaming or frying my veggie? Kidogo to like for a minute, then I just uh, cover for the steam now to do the final cook for like cabbage and carrots like this one now. So guys, here I'm just peeling the potatoes and I use the kapila that uh, came with that gadget. And you can see it's peeling really nice. I really enjoyed this process of peeling my potatoes. And I also peeled some carrots, yeah, to put in the beef stew. 
so for me i think this machine is uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice to have it in your kitchen eh? yeah because at least lots you could make a food processor to peel my potatoes so now you can see there i've saved on uh, on power yeah so um, if you can get this machine i'll highly recommend you to get it okay with me So guys now after the food prep it was now time to cook and the first thing I did was just to turn the crock pot on and then I put it on brown eh? brown satay just to brown my beef first before stewing it or before now doing a slow cook on it because I really wanted a nice natural stew in yatas jongeza spices like uh, yani spices in niliaka tu ni ginger na garlic na some onion and beef kidogo tu i just wanted something natural i had really missed this uh, beef stew that ina kudzanga na viazi na carrot i had really missed it and i just wanted uh, it to come out well so this is just the process of cooking it una add uh, your ginger garlic and onion when uh, the meat has already browned and after a while you also just add your nyanya and uh, ho ho I like the bed to myself Nobody stealing covers I like to drink too so guys here is where i'm just adding the onion and beef nyanya and uh, capsicum yeah and uh, just let it cook for a while before now turning it to slow cook for like three hours Myself. so i'm gonna have another no i don't need a hand to hold tight don't need a love that's all mine but sometimes i just want somebody to talk to so guys after like uh, two hours i now came in with the viazi and you can see their whole viazis i didn't like chop them into halves yeah because i told you i wanted uh, just a natural beef stew eh? a rich natural beef stew and you can also see me putting in some carrots and i let it slow cook for like uh, one hour before serving it now so after the beef stew was ready it was now time to make my turmeric rice and what i do is just uh, heat some oil add my turmeric bay leaf and some salt then i'll add my rice and stir it kabisa kabisa like nyune like it's like frying after that i'll just add boiled water to my rice and uh, put it on a uh, low heat and uh, cover and let it cook and it don't waste my time yeah i just want somebody <laughs> so when my turmeric rice was cooking i decided to now make the veggies and i just add a little oil on your pan and uh, some salt then after it has heat up like really really visory you just add your mixture of uh, cabbage onion and uh, carrot you just let this cook for like very few minutes yeah very very few minutes because you don't want uh, like a soggy veggie eh so you just let it cook for very few minutes then you just uh, turn off the heat and cover the steam will uh, cook it like uh, yeah the, the steam will make it soft enough for you so i can do my own most all i don't need a hand to hold tight don't need a love that's all mine but sometimes i just want somebody to talk to so guys this is the final uh what the final outcome of the rice and yeah this rice is usually very nice very sweet and uh, my kids really enjoy eating this uh yellow rice i also enjoy it so much so yeah so 
So now guys here we are just settling down to have a uh, dinner and you can see the kamkunji bowls eh <laughs> easy bowls zimetumika zimetumika since they came into this house and yeah hapo pia wezi kwa avocado when it comes to this uh, beef stew because they also like an uh, avocado with a uh, beef stew yeah beef stew and uh, rice yeah and uh, of course i also have to add uh, chili flakes on my bowl and uh, this is the meal it was giving it was nice the viazis look as me but poor like uh, yeah inafanya soup in a quite thick like i had really really missed uh, this uh, beef stew yeah, I just want So guys here I just want to wash our dog Amor. She's a girl and uh, since the day was so hot like it was so hot in Akuru on this day yeah and she was panting a lot I just decided to pull her down a bit and uh, groom her. Yeah she's already used to this uh, process of cleaning. So na mwana tu hapo kama chill kana ngoja kaoshwe and yeah <laughs> yeah I'll miss splash her magic so many times like I don't know how I can say it but I'll splash her magic so many times. I usually don't wash her. It is it is a uh, hubby who washes her. But uh, today just felt like acha to bond. Eh? Girls were bond and uh, yeah. Just want somebody. I just want somebody to talk to. So guys, you know, uh, the balcony uh, project is on and uh, here we were interrupted a bit because uh, my flower guy, I'll come and deliver the stuff that we're going to plant for the balcony. So after the delivery guys were done, I just uh, tried to dry her up kidogo with a towel before now uh, giving her a blow dry. Eh? <laughs> Hapa I returned her to the SQ because I needed an energy source yeah, to blow dry her just to make sure her fur is, uh, is, uh, is more dry. And after this uh, process of blow drying her, there's something called uh, de-shedding. Yeah? There's a, this a small, uh, it looks like a scissor or a brush used to like uh, brush her furs. Yeah? Doing a de-shed like the old fine talker in a bucky, the new one. I'll just show you guys in the video. Taking you in this moment, come get close like your own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off, just relax, you deserve it. You keep me up. So, guys, here I'm using the de shedding comb just to brush her fur or hair out. Eh? And uh, she likes playing so much. She made uh, this process a little bit hard, but she was really enjoying it. Uh, she really loves to be pampered. Yeah? Mina Semanga, she's a spoiled dog. Eh? Yeah, and uh, it was just a nice way of bonding with her. And yeah, you can see her too, and a chill. Yeah? She's enjoying the cat treatment. Eh? Yeah. 
so wadao wapenzi wa tazamaji tumefika tamati and i just want to thank you if you're still watching yeah? i really appreciate and uh, just thank you for watching and uh, staying tuned eh? if you haven't subscribed again i'll just uh, urge you please politely please consider subscribing <laughs> <laughs>